Hi, my name is Spencer, and today I'm going to talk about ways to deal with spam in the Rack Space Control Panel. I'm going to walk through blacklisting and safe listing on an individual level, as well as on a domain level. So let's get started. All right, so let's start off with what is blacklisting. Blacklisting is a way for you to tell the server to block certain messages from certain people coming into either your mailbox or all the mailboxes on your domain. And why would you want to do that? Well, let's say that you get coupons regularly from a local pizza place and you've unsubscribed from their newsletters, but they just keep sending them to you and you're just tired of seeing them. Well, that would be a situation where you may want to block that email from coming into your mailbox at all. Or it could be something malicious coming in over and over again and you want to block that from all users on your entire domain. So those are some situations why you would use blacklisting. Now let's take a look at how you would go about doing a blacklisting for uh, your mailbox. All right, so let's come down to the computer and see how to actually do the blacklisting. So here you'll see I'm in the administrative control panel and there's two different sections here, email hosting and hosted exchange. I'm going to work under the hosted exchange section and this is if you're going to blacklist on it for an individual mailbox. So for exchange, I'm going to go ahead and click on filter settings here. If you were doing a hosted email, then you can go straight to blacklist, but the screens are going to be identical. Clicking on filter settings, you'll see I then have to click on blacklist up here at the top. And then once I'm in blacklist, it's going to take me to the different ways that I can add something to my individual mailbox blacklist. So I can either do it by the domain or the email address up here, or if I scroll down, I can also block things by the IP address. Be mindful when you're blocking things by an IP address. There are a lot of shared IP address, uh, people using the same server to send messages. So let's talk about how are you going to know what to put in here? Well, in order to know that, you're going to have to actually look at a mail header. So let me start off with, I'm coming over here to my OWA, and I have this message here that I want to block. Now, some people send from their actual email address, and some people actually use a third-party mail service to send their email. So in that example of the pizza coupon coming in, chances are they're going to use some third-party bulk mail sender to send out to everyone who subscribed to that list and so we're going to actually want to block that address. So what you're going to do is you're going to find the header. So I'm going to click on this arrow. I'm going to go to view message details. And what I'm actually looking for is the return path. This is what blacklisting is based on. Not necessarily what's down here on the from address. Okay. So I'm going to copy this email address. I'm going to come back here to the control panel and I'm going to paste that in the domain and email blacklist section. I'm going to click add and then I would come down here and hit save in order to save that to my blacklist. Additionally, you can also block things from an entire domain. Let's say messages come in, they're different, um, but they're all coming from the same domain. So what you can do is you can come in here and you can say anything from uh, example.com I don't want anything from that domain to come into this mailbox. I'm going to hit add. It's going to add to my list. I'm going to come down and hit save. Now nothing from example.com is going to come into this individual mailbox. All right, so now let's say that you have multiple users complaining about these coupons coming in from the local pizza place and you want to block them from coming to any of your users. So the process is identical in the control panel. What you're going to want to do is come down to domains, click on blacklist. Once that loads, you'll see that same screen. You're going to put in that email address that it's coming from, that return path that you found in the message header. I'm going to click add, add it to my domain blacklist. I'm going to scroll down and hit save. And now nothing from that email address is going to make it to any of your users. All right, so let's talk about what safe listing is. Safe listing is your way of saying that even if your filters deem my messages as spam, they actually aren't spam to me and I would like them to go to my inbox rather than my spam or my junk folder. 
So what's a scenario that you would want to do that? Well, let's just take our local pizza place again, sending out those coupons. Well, maybe because they're using some third-party service to send those coupons, they're getting flagged as spam. And you want those coupons to come to your inbox so you don't miss out on them. Well, by adding the address to your safe list, you will ensure that those messages come straight to the inbox and you don't see them as being marked as spam. So let's come down to the computer and you're gonna see that the process is pretty much identical to doing the blacklisting. So I'm gonna come back here to filter settings. I'm gonna come back here up to the top and this time I'm gonna click on safe lists. And then you're gonna see the page is identical. I've got those two sections, domain and email safe list, as well as IP safe list. I'm gonna put in that email address that was in the return path of that message. I'm gonna hit add. I'm gonna scroll down and click save. And now anything from that email address is gonna go straight to my inbox rather than my junk or spam folder. All right, so now let's say you're having a company outing and everybody wants that pizza coupon for the local pizza place. So you're gonna see a little bit of a trend here, but if I come back to the control panel and I go down under the domain section, I can click on safe lists. You're gonna see that identical page here. I'm going to put in that email address that the coupons are coming from. I'm gonna click add and I'll scroll down here and hit save. And now everyone in the entire domain is going to get that coupon in their inbox. All right, so you're an end user and you want to manage your own blacklist and safe list without having to bother your email administrator every time that you want to make an adjustment to that filter. So let's talk about how to do that. There's a couple different ways. I'm gonna start off, let's come down here to the Outlook web app. If you're a hosted exchange mailbox, there's a couple different ways in here. You can click on the mail, you can come up here and sit, hit this down arrow and say it's junk. What that's gonna do is it's gonna move it directly to your junk email folder. It's also going to add that email address that it came from to your individual blacklist. Now on the other side of things, let's say something's landing in your junk email and you would like it to land in your inbox every time. You can also select that message from the junk email, come up here and hit the down arrow and say it's not junk. That will move it to the inbox and take it off of the blacklist if it was on there and it's going to add it to your safe list. Now let's also say that you don't want to receive anything from example.com, but example.com has not sent you anything yet. You can come up here to the top right, click on the gear, go down to options. On the left hand side under accounts you can click on block or allow. And here you will see your safe senders as well as your block senders. You'll see that email that I marked as not junk is under my safe senders. But what you want to do is you want to block example.com. So I'm going to add that under block senders, click the plus sign, and come up here to the top and click save. Now nothing from example.com is even going to make it to your mailbox. All right, so let's say you're an end user of a hosted email account. Here I am in webmail, and if I see this email coming into my inbox and I don't want to receive emails from this person anymore, I can go ahead and click on this message, come up here to the more menu, and report it as spam. It is then going to ask me, are you sure you want to report this as spam? I'm gonna click okay. It will move it to my spam folder as well as put it on my individual blacklist. Now, on the other side of things, let's say this email's coming into my spam email folder and I want it to go to my inbox. I can select the message, go to more, and say not spam. If it was on my blacklist, it will remove it from the blacklist, add it to the safe list, and again, it is now in my inbox. Let's take that same scenario that you don't want to receive anything from example.com, but example.com has not sent you any messages. You can come up here to the menu on the top right, these three bars, and go down to settings. In settings, you'll see on the left hand side, there's spam settings. You'll see there's two different tabs up here at the top, one for safe list, one for blacklist. I'm going to blacklist something, so I'm going to click on that tab. 
I have a button here to add a domain. It's going to ask me which domain would I like to add. I'm going to add example.com. I'm going to click the add button and save down here at the bottom. Now my mailbox is not going to receive anything from example.com. All right, so we've talked about how to adjust the blacklist and the safe list on the individual level as well as the domain level. So let's talk about how the server actually handles that. Uh, so the individual blacklist and safe list will always trump the domain level blacklist and safe list. However, if on your individual blacklist you have the same thing listed in your individual safe list, the safe list will then trump the blacklist. So it is just good practice to make sure that you only have it listed on one of those, either the blacklist or the safe list, but there is a method to the madness. It's as easy as that. So if you're having any issues that don't pertain to blacklisting or safe listing, please check out our other videos that we have here. But if you are running into issues with blacklisting or safe listing, at the top of your control panel you'll find a phone number as well as a chat feature to reach us at. You can also check out our online resource emailhelp.rackspace.com. Until next time, have a great rest of your day.